All right, hello YouTubers, Benjamin here. I'm gonna show you the proper way not to install a uniseal. A uniseal, U-N-I-S-E-A-L, they come in various different sizes, most commonly one inch, two inch, three, four, six, all kinds. Anyway, you need a hole saw, a drill, preferably not like this uh, setup here where I, ha I have a 12 volt battery stolen from a jump start system cigarette lighter so that's another possible wrong connection and then I had to jerry rig my drill here because it seems my batteries don't last nearly as long but anyway I, th I knew with a hole drill that these things right here they need to be bigger obviously like this is the one inch one they need to be bigger obviously than one inch so these things will properly fit and you don't have to damage them while putting them in well I sized it up like so and you see they already drilled it and uh, this one actually the outside the inside diameter of this thing is much bigger or is just a hair bigger than this than the seal of this but I forgot that when I drill the hole the outside the actual hole diameter is going to be bigger so you see you know this is not acceptable so I went inside and found another hole or found another hole saw and I drilled another hole hoping it'll work and as you see here, I'll just install it. And I already got all the burrs and everything off, obviously. But I'll just install it. It needs to be a nice, tight fit. Uh, otherwise, it, it's not going to properly seal. And if it doesn't do that, then, you know, it doesn't work, obviously. Hang on, this is not easy to do with a, a, a one-man show. So, anyway, it goes just like that. Nice, uh, it's hard to turn, so that gives me a good indication that the rubber's making contact. And all I'll have to do is just run my one inch pipe into there with some soapy water or baby oil on it, and you may give me a good tight seal. And then later on in one of these episodes, I'll, I'll hook the water hose up to one of these things and see how much pressure these things hold, see what bursts first, the seals on top, these things, or um, that right there. So as long as this will withstand uh, 5 to 10 PSI as much as that's as much pressure I'm going to do that's all I need but what I'm going to do is this is the makings of my anaerobic digester to produce methane these three barrels are going to be connected together and then on top of them is going to be a manifold a, uh, a, 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 a methane recovery manifold it'll come across something like that It'll go to this barrel that's going to move, and then at the bottom of this barrel, it's going to be a pipe to here, and then the methane gases are going to get piped into here on top. It's going to push this water down, going into this barrel, and making this and uh, forcing the water into here, so that way there's going to be water pressure on the uh, gas to pressurize the gas, so that way I have a good that way I have a good steady stream of gas. And then uh, eventually I'm going to find a way to safely pressurize it and put it in a pressurized tank. So, there you have it.